You know it. These should be illegal. Mm. Hi, I'm Shui, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to grill Korean short ribs. Little tip for you, make more than you think you'll need. These things are addictive. But first, we'll need to make a super tasty marinade. So sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. Unlike how I'd normally buy my beef ribs, where you'd get three bones that are running along the meat, Korean short ribs are cut across the bone. So you only get these tiny little bits of bone. Why? Who cares? As long as we get that umami bone marrow flavor that's going to mix in with our marinade. They can cut them into triangles for all I care. It's the taste that we're focusing on. What sets Korean barbecue apart from others is the unique flavors they use. So rather than smothering these ribs in a standard barbecue rub and a really sugary barbecue sauce, let's make up a tasty Korean marinade. So into a food processor, we're putting in half a cup of soy sauce, a third of a cup of corn syrup, if, if I can open it up. Now, if you can't find corn syrup or if you can't open it, <laughs> you can use honey. Ah. Voila, that's how easy it was. Now, that's corn syrup. It's nice and hard, so put it in the microwave. It will be boiling hot, so be careful. So, <laughs> a third of a cup of corn syrup. Work quickly with it because it sets hard after you've softened it. And I prefer using corn syrup than honey because it gives the ribs an authentic sheen that you get off those Korean short ribs. One Asian pear roughly chopped. I actually was surprised I found these and I just went into my local supermarket. In like that, they can go in the bin. A quarter cup of mirin. A quarter a cup of brown sugar, a small onion roughly chopped, obviously we don't want the skin, in. A small piece of ginger, that's enough, roughly chopped, that can go in. Some spring onion, just the white bits, in there, don't need them. Keep the green bits for later. Six cloves of garlic. One would be, <laughs> one would be good. These things are massive, they're as big as my head, but I'm going with it. Give them a squash, easy to peel that way. They can go in there. One teaspoon of salt flakes, and a half teaspoon of finely cracked black pepper. Two tablespoons of sesame oil. Give that a spin. Now add one cup of water. Give it another buzz. How easy was that? Nearly as easy as like in this video. Okay, now we have our marinade, it's time to soak our ribs. I'm actually gonna cut these in half because they are pretty big. And just pop them in there. Now just pour the marinade in. Give it a bit of a mix up, make sure all the ribs have a little bit of the marinade on them. And put the lid on. And this can go in the fridge overnight. Better though, if you can leave it for 24 hours. Now, for some reason that you think you won't be here tomorrow, well, then just go and get McDonald's instead. Now, just remember, while it's in the fridge, take it out every now and then, give it a bit of a shake. Don't stress over it, once or twice is fine. Maybe every time you grab a drink. Now, remember the green parts of the spring onion we pushed aside and made them feel like they were unwanted? It's okay, we do need them now. Just slice these up thinly on the diagonal angle. Makes no difference in taste, it just looks fancier. Shuey's Gourmet Kitchen, voila! Now just throw them into a bowl. I need a high direct heat today, so I'm gonna be using my Go Anywhere Weber and I'm gonna be using my grill grates. These things are perfect. I can sear at a high temp directly over the coals, but it stops the flare ups. If you don't have grill grates, just use a cast iron pan or you can do the tried and tested fire dance. Just moving the ribs around every time they catch on fire. I'll start by filling a chimney starter with briquettes. I'll light that up and once they're all ashed over, I'll dump them on the charcoal grate of my GA. Just spread it out nice and evenly. And then I'll put the grill grates on. And I'll put the lid on. 
I'll open the vent, make sure the top and bottom are wide open, and I'll give that 10 minutes to warm up. It's time to get the ribs out of the marinade. Don't stress too much getting the excess marinade left on these ribs. I mean, look at the color of these ribs. They have absorbed so much flavor sitting in this bath of goodness. Rightio, it's time to get these ribs on that barbecue. We just need to oil the grill grates first. All right, we'll just lay them across the grill grates. And that sizzle is what we want to hear. We'll just let this first side cook away for three to four minutes and then we'll give them a flip. Now we're at the two minute mark. We're not quite ready to flip them, but I just want to turn them around, get a nice crisscross action off these grill grates. We are cooking today with a high direct heat on the grill. This cook's gonna take somewhere around the six to eight minute mark. So for those of you using my beer timer, this is only gonna be a one beer cook. So best get drinking, cause that time's gonna fly by. Cheers. All right, it's been four minutes. We can see there's a bit of blood coming through. So time to turn them. Oh, oh look. Look at that. How good does that look? All right, two minutes on that side, and I just can't wait to dig in. Like these things, they look exceptional. So you know the drill, we're just gonna spin it around and give them another two minutes and then they'll be ready to come off. All right, this first batch is definitely ready to come off and it is making me super hungry. Oh, that smells awesome. Now you need to clean the grill between each set of ribs going on. You don't want burnt stuff stick into the next lot. Surely by now you've subscribed to the channel and while you're there, you might as well hit that bell button. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Now just plate these up and just try and resist the urge to dig straight in because these are piping hot. Now just grab our garnish and just give them a good sprinkle. Now, if you share this video with a mate, they could be making this for you while you sit back with a drink. Now's a good time to grab a fresh drink and just let these cool down for a minute or two. Or grab a heat proof glove and dig straight in. Either pick up a whole rack or slice them into individual little bite sized pieces. You know it, these should be illegal. Mm. How easy was that? Korean short ribs in a tasty marinade. As always, cheers, thanks for watching. Mmm.